Hey, good morning. Welcome to your Wednesday. Hey, welcome to your Wednesday. It's the 13th and I'm Julie Holiday. I'm going to be giving you everything that you need to know to make it a great and successful day for yourself. So really a lot of our news today um, comes out of the Akron area and things that you need to know really mo most likely in Northeast Ohio. So first of all, what is your theme song? That is the question of the day. Go ahead and jot that in the chat. We can be the first people that you talk with today. Um, hi near 70 and also in your headlines, Marsha Fudge is resigning. And in Akron, a teenager was found with an AK-40 in, uh, in possession. So that we will have that story here for you as the morning goes on. You get everything you need to know all your all your top headlines every Monday and Wednesday. Um, and your weather wake up today is brought to you by Sarah Eddy. And let's go ahead and take a look at one of our amazing sponsors, Sarah Eddy. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. When you work with a world-class agent at Coldwell Banker, you benefit from trusted guidance in our revolutionary seller's assurance program to make your home sale more rewarding than ever. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. I wake up this morning today, mostly clouds and then gradually becoming sunny with a high near 70 and tonight, partly cloudy with a low around 47 light wind. And then for Thursday, showers are likely mainly after 5 p.m., a high near 72 Friday showers likely with a possible thunderstorm. Friday, we're going to see a high near 57, and then Saturday is mostly sun with a high near 56. If you're wondering about Sunday, there is a chance of showers before too, so I wonder if you have any plans this weekend. Would love to know what your plans are. Partly sun on Sunday with a high near 48. We'll have more of a look at your weather here before the show is over. Again, I'm Julie Holiday. Grateful to come to you here on the 330 to go morning show. The Akron traffic map. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. If you're heading down south, I wanted to just kind of go right into it. So if you were going towards, you know, maybe Jackson or like later on, um, like past Plain, this is what your traffic map is looking like. It's 77 at 62. I was hoping that around this time with the time change, we would see a lot more sun this time of morning, but that's okay. So we're still sort of waiting for the sun to come up, but we're all clear. There's no traffic delays. If you're headed towards like Massillon, Perry area, let's go a little bit more towards that centralized Akron. Let's take a look at one of my favorite cameras, which is this East Turkey Foot Lake Road. So this is 77. We can see both lanes of traffic here. Uh, not seeing a lot of um, any really weather conditions that are slowing us down, which is awesome, awesome news. But, you know, getting getting into our traffic um, report, you know, there will be more people on the road, roadways today. There's there's not anything that people are really slowing down um, as they're heading into their morning um, weather-wise. So uh, if we look more at the centralized Akron traffic, so I was traveling eastbound uh, this week near um, going towards Kent. I was coming from Akron and going on this like 76 and 77, like that interchange. And if you like roller coasters, <laughs> the new bridge extension, like going like to seven, like going like basically taking you to route eight like from 76 is like basically like a roller coaster. It was so intense. And I was trying to see if I had like pictures and uh, video of it here, but this is like that 76 at Wolf Ledges looking really nice. There's, there are some construction uh, cones there because really take your time as you're going through that area, uh, reduce your speed and be on high alert because the changing of traffic patterns is really intense through there. And again, as you go and take, um, 
route eight from that 76 stretch, it's like you go so high in the air. I have no idea exactly how high, but it was, um, it was pretty intense. Really clear traffic map this morning. Uh, 76 at East Market. Good morning to you if you're waking up in Mogador, Springfield. Good morning. Say good morning to me. I love it. Um, heading through, uh, going towards like Brimfield. It's looking, it's looking nice. Um, another one of my favorite traffic maps. Let's see. This one is kind of going towards Cuyahoga Falls. This is State Route 8 at, um, at Howe Avenue. And uh, let's see. So it's looking really clear. Um, no incidents this morning, um, as at least in Northeast Ohio, we are seeing some of that road construction, which we can go ahead and take a look at this one. So this is that uh, South Street, the ramp uh, from South Street to 76 eastbound is closed. That's been closed um, for a while. It will still be closed until about November. Taking a look at this uh, 76 eastbound. So again, that whole stretch just really reduce your speed as you're traveling this morning. Um, if we look a little bit more towards like downtown Cleveland, if you're headed into downtown, just a look at like that 480, it's looking clear. We do have some construction there, which of course, um, set, uh, 17 westbound to 480 eastbound. And uh, that's closed really until 2026, which is seems like a while away because it is. That's a really like long time to be doing doing construction, but it's great that we have those updates. So this is that 77 at 480, a, a live look for you. As you can see, we're not dealing with fog this morning. There's no accumulation of rain or precipitation, which, which is great for our roadways. So have a wonderful morning. There's nothing slowing you down. I don't see any of those exclamation marks, which would mean that there is an accident that you'll need to leave earlier for. And all of this green just says that the speeds are up to um, the posted speeds. So you should be good. Yay. <laughs> um, back to our news this morning, taking a drink of my coffee. I want to have so much more fun today. It's sort of like my, I think that'd be my theme song for today. We'll be like, girls just want to have, maybe it's just girls that just want to have fun. Taking a look at um, your comments. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, um, uh, Larry and Kelly, uh, Jessica. Good morning to you. Love that. Um, great, great to, to see you guys on this morning. So today's national holiday, just so you know, is National Canine Veterans Day. And March 13th of every year marks the dogs who have been trained to serve our country. And canines, just so you know, have been around ever since 1942, the veterans of, uh, they, they formed an organization called Dogs for Defense, and it was approved by the Army in 1942, and then it was founded uh, March 13th, and the rest is history. So I want to know if you're excited or if I'm just barking up the wrong tree. Okay, sorry. Um, today's holiday of the day is brought to you by one of our amazing sponsors, and we will hear from them right now. Start this new year off by giving yourself a new kitchen. Instead of tearing out and replacing your worn and outdated kitchen cabinets, let American Wood Reface give your kitchen renewed beauty and functionality with premium solid wood, handcrafted and skillfully installed. Get custom quality for as little as half the price. American Wood Reface. Exceeding customer expectations since 1979. Call us or go online to book your free in-home or virtual consultation. Let's take a look at your Northeast Ohio news this morning. Marsha Fudge, the Housing and Urban Developmental Secretary, announced her resignation. It's effective March 22nd, and she's expressing mixed emotions on social media. So she's served as uh, since the start of President Biden's administration, and she's a former mayor and Ohio representative. She's dedicated nearly five decades to public service. So her statement that she has put out did not specify a reason reason for her resigning, though she plans, she says, to transition to, to a private life. She's been living a very public life. And while the White House praised her commitment to affordable housing and protecting residents' needs, they've also thanked her for contributions and have wished her well in her endeavors. Um, one of our uh, 
headlines this morning, also in Akron, a 15-year-old boy was arrested for carrying a loaded AR-15 pistol, there is a correction there, during a suspected break-in at a vacant home. So police responded at Argonne Court, and they found four teenagers on the scene. And again, he was he was arrested for carrying a loaded AR-15 pistol. Um, he was charged with carrying that weapon and taken to the juvenile detention facility in Summit County. And while the other three teenagers were released to uh, their guardians. Also in Northeast Ohio, an international crime ring has been identified as being responsible for widespread crime across Northern Ohio and other parts of the state. They've been found in Northeast Ohio um, stores. And basically it's a part of a micro-sized skimmer that's used to steal credit card and banking information from ATMs and also like the point of sale, like the register. And these thieves, they target that magnetic strip on cards and it's basically undetectable and they'll quickly like retrieve your information. So we are seeing that um, the tip of avoiding this is to basically to use um, chip cards or digital payment methods, but to also hide uh, the PIN numbers on ATMs and be cautious at checkouts and to, um, of course, keep an eye on your checking and savings accounts for any unauthorized activity. Good morning to you in Stowe, Ohio. If you're leaving for for the morning, good morning to you. Um, the Stowe Monroe Falls School District is mourning the loss of Sarah Calloway, a beloved teacher known for her dedication to students, family, and community. And uh, she passed away. She was 53. She passed away on March 2nd um, due to complications from surgery. Her obituary highlights her multifaceted interests, including her deep faith in Jesus. And um, she was a devoted teacher at Lakeview Intermediate High School, um, Lakeview Intermediate School, pardon, and her visitations were held last week at Talmadge Cemetery. And again, that Stowe Monroe Falls School District, mourning the loss of Sarah Calloway. Uh, Sean Cahill, a Willoughby Heights uh, native and member of the Cleveland Orchestra Chorus fulfilled a lifelong dream by winning the grand prize of $25,000 in season two of the premiere of Jimmy Fallon's new version of Password. And he plans to use that money to create a backyard and a chicken coop for his wife's enjoyment. So again, Sean Cahill, a Willoughby Hills native and member of the Cleveland Chorus, he won that grand prize of $25,000. What would you do with $25,000? I probably would buy a new purse. Speaking of purses, uh, on the 18th of this month in March, the Purses for Pooches boutique sale will be happening in Akron. It's located at 1770 Merriman Road, and they are either brand new or in excellent condition. And the event begins with VIP access from five to eight for, uh, or and also with a $10 donation at the door. So if you're looking for a new purse and you really would like it to go to a good cause, look up Purses for Pooches. We will also share more on the 330 to go social media and uh, hopefully see you there the 18th and it goes to the 19th as well. A reminder for you to put on your calendar that 330 to go solar eclipse party. Uh, it will be at the Kim Tam Park, which is located near Springfield Lake. And there are going to be DJs, music on Canton Road in Uniontown. And it is free, but we are asking you to please register so that we can get a good head count of how many people will be there for the food trucks and vendors. You can see and um, go ahead and sign up for that Eclipse party on the 330 to go social media. Love it. Hey, a look at your sports this morning. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the Cleveland Cavs. So they um, they blew a 19-point lead and lost to the Phoenix Suns on Monday. They lost 117 to 111. And despite that valiant effort without those key players, they have lost for the third time in four games. 
Um, the WWE has finally revealed the location of their 2024 SummerSlam show, and it's taking place right here in Cleveland. And on Saturday, August the 3rd, the superstars of WWE will be coming here to the Cleveland Brown Stadium. And it's marked the, th the first time since 1996 the city has hosted that Summer Slam event. So that's very exciting for the city of Cleveland. And I would kind of like to go to that. I used to watch wrestling a ton. I actually really loved wrestling. Um, WWF. Kane and Undertaker were my favorite. <laughs> He's wrestling. <laughs> I like China too, but that's just because she's a girl a wrestler. Like, let's go. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Let's do a little bit of music since our. I also really like. Um... Feel the rain on your skin. I don't really know what song that. It's from the hills. I don't know if you're familiar, but I like that song too. So if we had that, but since we don't, we'll just use the. Uh residual free music this morning. Okay. The Cleveland state men's basketball. They also have lost to Oakland 74 to 71 in semifinals of the horizon league tournament. And, uh, the Cleveland state women though, they beat green Bay 64 to 40 in the horizon league tournament title game. And you can catch more sports, uh, on the three, three Oh to go sports show that is every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. So you can get your full dose of sports that way. And you can tune in right here. We're across all platforms. And I wanted to just quickly touch base for you as promised on your weather this morning. So today we will see a high near 70. Tonight will be partly clouds. Lows will get to 47. Thursday showers likely mainly after five and Friday possible thunderstorm. So, you know, looking nice out there as far as the weather goes 70 today, 72 tomorrow. We're loving that. So we hope you have a wonderful day. We come to you every Monday and Wednesday at 7 a.m. I'm Julie Holiday. I would love it if you found me on social media as well. You can search me Julie Holiday TV on Facebook and Julie Holiday on Instagram. And we hope you have a wonderful day and you will see us again on Monday.